Good morning, church. Good My morning. name is Mrs. Sakile Dube Muloi. Um, above all, my testimony goes like this. I would like to say thank God for this life that he gave it to us. Uh, my first testimony is to thank God for this blessing that I'm holding on my hand. After through difficulties and miscarriages of years, I've been married since 2005 with my husband. I did not have a child in my marriage, but God, in this 2017, he managed to bless me with this blessing that I'm holding on my hand. Hallelujah, glory to God. I just want to say thank God for this blessing, and I'm praying and giving her back to God to use her mightly. Then my second testimony goes like this. I, I came on one-on-one -on -one uh, to see men of God last year on 4 April. Uh, after my sister said to me, do what was happening to me uh, when I work for different companies, they would just pay me first two, three months. Then after some months, they won't pay me. Sometimes I'll understand the situation why they don't pay me because we'll be contractors of other contracts. But because of uh, what was happening, I was like, accepting it because uh, those contractors will send letters that we're gonna pay you in two months time. And because I was the one receiving emails, I now understand. At the end of the day, when they pay our companies, it's either they run away or they don't pay me. At the end of the day, I work for three different people, they always have stories. So when I came to see Men of God one-on-one, -on -one, uh, it was on the 4th of April, and I was four months pregnant. Man of God didn't say much. He said I should go to Mercy Land. Uh, when I was on the Mercy Land, I picked a paper written that I shall fly like an eagle above the skies. Then he did not say much to me. He only said, I'm saying much, my daughter. I said, Man of God, in my heart, just two days ago, it was much. <laughs> now I'm just on the 4th of April. Man of God maybe didn't see very well. He said, I'm saying much, I'm saying July. I said, when I get home, I told my husband, sorry, man of God said this thing much, but much, I'm coming from much, and look at what I'm going through, through these people that I'm working for. Uh, then months goes by, I delivered. Uh, since I'm doing graphic and designing, and I'm designing and also doing embroidery and printing of T-shirts and other stuff. So in September, Beginning of October, I decided to do one design that I submitted with Spay and Paranotis. Then they, uh, they accepted my offer. And then after that, I just uh, relaxed again because I was still nursing my baby because she was still just young. After some time, because also I didn't have enough capital to start. So in January end, my husband gave me money to start a business, but it was not enough. So we're going to Valentine's uh, February. So I decided to start in Valentine by designing t-shirts for people for Valentine and couples and brides and bridals um, about them. So when I, I did it, I just submitted two t-shirts to a few people. I didn't know that those people gonna bring more people to me. By beginning of March, children of God, God did wonders for me. Not only did I start doing only Valentine stuff, even churches, they are calling me to come and shoot videos, uh, pictures to do banners, banners like five meters to six meters. Hallelujah. <laughs> Turn to your neighbor, say neighbor. Yeah. The God of overflow. Our sister is telling us she went from a place of lack and want and she was worried about where she's going to get her next paycheck, where she's going to get money to survive with her child. But when God opened up the floodgates, people of God, it was an overflow. Amen? Amen. You can continue, my sister. So now I'm doing banners for different churches, tight envelopes, t-shirts for churches like now in Good Friday. And then recently, I just did one sample. Usually when I do, I do a sample for a, a company, you pay for that sample. So I did my first sample for another uh, a workers union. So when I went to submit, I just give it to them. So I was expecting them to ask me how much. 
They did not ask, ask me how much. Then I left it there. Then after a week, they called me that they need a lot of T-shirts. It was on Friday. So when they called me that they want a lot of T-shirts, I was like, ah. So happy in the morning, I just took a bath first. I put my baby inside the car, I drove there. When I reached there, they told me they need T-shirts and banners, different types of banners for the match they're gonna have on last holiday, it was on Wednesday. So when I arrived there, because of the T-shirts that there were a lot, I let's charge the banners. So after I let's charge the banners, the man called me that I'm not gonna uh, do T-shirt with them. The only gonna, I'm gonna do only banners, and I already let's charge because I knew that my profit was coming on the T-shirts. So it was on Friday. On Saturday, I went home again. I begged the man that he must. Uh, because already we negotiated until I end up even going to less price for, my, for the T-shirt, but still I have profit. So when I went home, he, he said they already had their sponsors. Uh, I should not worry, I should just bring the banners. So it was Saturday, Sunday, Monday night around 10, I saw missed calls from the same men calling. Then I, he said I should answer my phone, send me SMS like I should answer my phone. When I answered my phone, said, please, sister, those people, they've already disappointed me. Can you please do those t-shirts for me? I told him, I'm only having, it's already at night. So tomorrow is only Tuesday. When I, when, where, where am I gonna get the t-shirt at night? And on Wednesday, you need them in the morning. And there are a lot. Who's gonna print for me all those 500 t-shirts at the same time? So the, uh, the man said, no, can you come? I said, no, I can't do it. So my husband told me, he said, I should not do it. So on Monday, I have to deliver their banners. So when I just come in their office, they close me in their office. They said, you're not gonna go here, you must agree. I have to call the people <laughs> who are gonna supply me the T-shirt. Not only did I get T-shirt in less price, also my sister agreed to help me to do those T-shirts, and I managed to do them same day, and they deposited money same time before I even left the office. Hallelujah! Sister, so we can understand you very well. The same man who said, who rejected you and said they didn't need your t-shirts anymore, yes. came back by himself without you begging him, asking you to, to do the t-shirts. Yes, and it was a miracle because we managed to finish those t-shirts over one night on that Tuesday. In the morning, he came and picked up the t-shirt. Now, the man told me that the sponsors, they liked my invoice because I went a little bit down more than other people were doing quotation. Now not only them, they're gonna bring their t-shirt. Also other sponsors, they're gonna bring for other unions for me to do for them. Put your hands together for Master Jesus. <laughs> Indeed, when God shows up, he shows off, amen? amen? My sister, just to take it back, you mentioned that um, initially your husband gave you um, a loan or capital of 1,000 Rand. Yes. And he said, you can carry on with this business as long as you pay me back. Were you able to pay back the 1,000 Rand? I paid back the money more than 20 times. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Put your hands together, people of God. And how does it feel to see that the prophecy you received from the man of God has come to pass in such a great way? Yes, even though uh, I just want to say thank God for the husband I have because uh, I already forget that man of God said much. So it's my husband always uh, in the house. I put my, babe, my Bible on top of the table. Usually I read my Bible. It's my husband said, Suri, do you remember what prophet said much is gonna be a great <laughs> month for you? That's when I remembered that, wow, God is so wonderful. When man of God says March then, I was like, I'm just four days ago, it was March. Now I can man of God prophesy about March, I'm coming from March, and there was nothing in that March. So I just want to say thank God for the wonderful uh, prophet. He gave it to me, and the prophets came to pass after I meet him one on one. And right now, I'm waiting for another big uh, orders which they are gonna have on the workers' day. So the unions, they're gonna bring more t-shirts for me to embroider and print and caps and banners. So I just want to say thank God for everything and the family that he gave it to me. And now I can call myself a mother again. Hallelujah. 
So after our sister met with the man of God at the one-on-one -on -one counseling session, things turned around. As much as she couldn't see it at the time, she didn't understand the prophecy, it came to pass just as the man of God had prophesied. Amen. Turn to your neighbor, say, neighbor. Yeah. What are you waiting for? Waiting? Go to one-on-one. -on -one. Sister, do you have any words of encouragement for those who might be experiencing some challenges, particularly from an entrepreneur perspective, and they feel like there's no way out? Yes, I just want to say, uh, children of God, not only yourself, you can, if you have also to help others to see men of God one-on-one, -on -one, it's also the best, because I, I couldn't afford to meet men of God one-on-one, -on -one, but my sister, managed to do it because he saw what was in me. So also there are people around you. It's not that when men of God didn't touch your story, you cannot touch others. You can still help others and help by helping others, God will also see that you are willing to help yourself because helping others is, is like you are helping yourself. So I want to say children of God, um, it's a good thing to meet men of God one-on-one. -on -one. It may take time. You may say something today. It may happen right now. But sometimes it takes time because God's time is the best. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for that wonderful word of advice. Indeed, we are blessed to be a blessing. And the man of God always reminds us to pray for our friends just as Job did. Amen. Sister, we thank you so much for that wonderful testimony and we know that the best is yet to come. May the perfect peace of our Lord Jesus Christ rest and abide with you and your family now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.